Hey guys, and welcome back to another weekend shave. And today we're going to use Portis Kale shaving soap, which is a hard uh, shaving soap, I believe, from Portugal, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to use the Above the Tie uh, S2 on a Jurgen Hempel titanium handle, Poisson in a Rudy Vey handle. And let's go ahead and get to loading the soap. Now, the reason I chose this soap is. This week, uh, Paul Robles, who is somebody who's been around in the community for a long time, and uh, he has pretty good taste in shaving products. He owns most high-end stuff and just a lot, a lot of stuff. He's really a, I would say, a collector. He has more stuff than most people. He proclaimed that, that Antica Barbera, uh, I can't remember. It's one. It's the Portuguese soap that's Antica something Barbera or the Barrow or something like that. Anyway, it's a it's a really nice soap with a glass um, jar and a metal top. And I had it some time back. And for me, um, it was good quality soap for sure, but it didn't have much in the way of scent. He proclaimed it the best on the market and that all the YouTubers were wrong. And then he said, of course, we may have had a bad batch and, and that may be the case. Now, what I said was that I much prefer Portis Kale, which is made, I think, by the same company. Now, this soap has an excellent scent. Um, it's not super strong, but it's really noticeable, and it's just very, very nice. So it's it's why I picked this. And you know, Paul is certainly um, confident in his belief that that's the best, and it probably is for him. But there are very few absolutes, you know, in shaving. Even the fact that the Blasson is soft, I think it's an absolute, but it, not everybody will, so I'm glad Paul enjoys um, that soap. I prefer this one, but I'd say if Paul likes it, I mean, you may want to try it because he, he certainly has good taste, so check that one out uh, if it sounds interesting. But Porter's Kale is the one for me. Let me wet my face and let's get going. By the way, before I get started, of course, I got my So Sharp shaving shirt on. This week, I don't know if you could see that, yesterday, I cut the heck out of myself here, not paying attention. and. I pulled a David Gonzalez twice this week. I knocked over my phone while filming. That's reminiscent of David Gonzalez. And also, I cut myself before a meetup. And David, before the Big Shave West, cut himself. He was telling me that on the phone. And so, I'm sort of following in his footsteps. And I hardly ever cut myself. I mean, this is rare. I might nick myself once or twice in a year. And this one, I cut myself pretty good. So it'll be around for a little bit. Oh man, this soap, tell you what, it smells great. And you can see how it's lathering. This is a wonderful soap. So if you like the soap that Paul referenced, um, you might want to get this one too. I'm sure you'll like this one, Paul, if you can get your hands on it. This one I got from Rui. Um, we bought it and he was kind enough to mail it to us. This is an excellent soap. I really prefer this one over the other, but you know, opinions on stuff are subjective, but man, this stuff here, I'm telling you, it's the cat's meow, <laughs> at least for me. And that's something we don't say enough for me. Pretty much everything is for me when it comes down to it. All right, let's stop yapping and get shaving. Well, actually, we'll continue yapping, but we'll get the shaving. And this uh, Above the Tie S2, of course, one of my favorite razor. Matter of fact, it's my second favorite. Slightly prefer the S1. Don't know why, I just do. Uh, but this one is outstanding as well. Make no mistake about it. These are... Excuse me for pausing there, but I always shut up when I do the stash area, usually. These are excellent. Shave it with a cut there, and I'll probably pull it up and start bleeding. Wouldn't surprise me if I do. Go very gingerly over that area. At any rate, um, also the handle, Jurgen Hempel Titanium, and it is great. Love it. It's holding up very well. Someone had asked me if the, if the coating comes off, and the answer to that is so far no. I've used it lots and lots of times, and it's exactly the same as when I got it. Perfect condition, so it's holding up uh, very nicely. Okay. There we have pass one. Let's rinse the face and go for pass two. Yeah, the uh, big, sh or excuse me, the uh, Chicago meet is next week, a week from today. Looking forward to that. 
I was looking forward to just, you know, getting a break. Um, I haven't had a vacation. Didn't take a vacation last year. Now, we did go to visit family, but, I mean, I haven't had a, a vacation where we've had no obligations, like going to the beach or something like that for a couple of years because my father-in-law has been ill. And so we've sort of used our vacation time to visit family. And, you know, when your family is ill, especially when someone is terminally ill the way he is, I think it's the least you could do. Sometimes you, you know, time is limited with everyone. And when you know someone is is quite literally um, dying each day, you should you should try your best to uh, spend as much time with them as you can. And they live down in Mississippi, which is a from here. It's about eleven hours. Uh, and we drive it, and so we try to get down there a couple of times um, a year, and lately we've tried to, you know, do more as we can. The wife is down there right now, as a matter of fact. Um, she's visiting, she's dropping off her son to spend a little time with the grandparents, and he enjoys that, so... I encourage you all to do the same, you know, if you have family members, um, get, get out to see them, call them, you know. They're not going to be around forever, especially if you had elderly parents, grandparents. My grandparents passed away when I was, you know, before I was an adult, so, but I did really appreciate my time with them. I'd suggest if they're still around, you know, reach out to them. Because you will miss them when they're gone. That I can guarantee. All right. There's pass two. Let's rinse the face and go for pass three. That's enough for downer stuff. Let's talk about this soap, which is great. Like I said, to me, this stuff is excellent. I mean, this is a top shelf caliber soap. And I don't remember what I paid for it because it's been over a year ago. But I tell you what, it's good stuff and it's very hard. But it lathers very easily. As you can see here, and the performance is outstanding. It's very, very slick, um, and it's wonderful. So, check this one out if you if you can get your hands on it. Portis Kale, excellent, I think. Anyway, all right. Shave is going nicely. Oh, and by the way, that um, buffalo head soap that I used uh, yesterday. That was excellent too. Me cutting myself was no fault of the soap. It was just flat me pay, not paying attention and uh, losing focus. And that's really all it takes when you're using these you know, sharp blades. More so with a straight or a shavette. Um, but you can cut yourself with a DE too. You know, don't, don't be fooled because you can certainly do it. And I've done it a few times. Not a lot, but I certainly have done it. And yesterday was the day, but no fault of soap. That is a wonderful soap. Um, it is really nice. And I think it's used, I don't want to misstate this, but I believe he told me he uses duck fat from a cruelty-free farm to his ingredients, which is why it's a bit more expensive. But I really enjoyed it. It had an amazing scent. Awesome presentation, just all around great experience, um, if you ask me. I'm trying not to reopen that cut there. All right. Above the tie, S2 doing the job excellently, as always. Persona was the blade, by the way. All right. Let's rinse the face, come back with the witch hazel and aftershave and finish this thing up. Stand by. All right, you know what's coming now, the Bayer's Witch Hazel. Magic. Made my witches. I love this stuff. Works miracles. And I usually take off my glasses so I can really get it all over. And I do the same with the aftershave. By the way, if you haven't been to Italian Barber, a lot of new stuff uh, up there. He's got some uh, razors with... Stainless steel handles for 20 bucks. Nice. They haven't bought any because I'm sort of, you know, I've tried most everything out there. I did pick up a Wolfman head, 
or a BST, which I was looking for. But as far as razors go, I haven't found a need to really try anything because the, the above the tie is, is really, and the Weber and the few that I have are so good that I just haven't wanted anything else. But I did want to try the Wolfman because it's been getting a lot of press. Okay, to review, Porter's Kale, my pick for favorite Portuguese soap. Above the tie S2 on a Jurgen Hempel titanium handle. Excellent. There's Witch Hazel. Magic by Witches. Razor Rock Triple X. This is one of my favorite aftershaves of all time. This one is made by Fine, and I'm gonna have to start being a little more judicious about it because they don't make this anymore. And I had an extra bottle, but I sent it to Busta because he's a big Razor Rock fan, and he said he had regretted not having one and had, had an extra, so. I just sent it to him because if anybody's a fan of Razor Rock, Busta is. He's always supported them and you couldn't go to a better guy. So hope you enjoy that, Busta. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful weekend. Take care.